I'm on my way to my friend's house and we are going to have dinner. He's cooking and uh, then we're going to uh, hopefully watch some of the Oscar movies, some of the nominated movies. I kind of need to look at the list, but I also kind of need to drive. <laughs> eternal struggle. I don't know, I'm like on another planet today. I didn't even mention like, yeah, I was making coffee earlier and it's like way too late to make coffee. It's also way too late to be having dinner. But I just, I haven't been hungry like since yesterday, like all through Friday, I wasn't hungry. And then today I haven't been hungry. I don't know. I kind of have like cycles like that where I'm like have a huge appetite or don't. I think it's maybe like a hormonal thing. I don't know. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't care about the Oscars. I don't care about award shows in general. I don't think they really mean anything, um, generally. Like, the thing that I do like about award shows is, uh, of course, like, seeing the hair, makeup, outfits is kind of exciting sometimes. A lot of times it's not. And then also, uh, Twitter. Not to bring up Twitter again. I am currently driving through the woods. I'm sure you can't see it. Anyway. Number one, someone just got a new TV slash it's a hand-me-down TV. I think it's the most ridiculous TV that I've ever seen someone have. Is that, does that make sense? I don't know. And someone is cooking for me. I want to be someone. A nameless, faceless someone, hands. We're having nachos. Also, actually, new highlight of my life slash highlight of my night. Life night, what's what is this? what's the difference? Okay, this is the Reese's Reister Bunny. What, is this even real? I'm so happy right now, this is the best gift I ever could have gotten, ever. <laughs> Very easy to please. <laughs> So dinner is ready at last and I think that we have decided that we want to watch Selma. Hopefully it's good. Actually, I've heard it's good. Have you heard anything about no, it? No, I said Selena. Selena! It's Selena Day! <laughs> Did you see Drake's shirt? No. I, you didn't see Drake's shirt? He was over here earlier and I didn't notice. Okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> but no, Selma. This is why we don't work. I'm very, very excited to see Selma. Yes, then we met. Sunday coffee at last. I need this so bad right now. Being a pedestrian in Houston is so incredibly awkward. Okay, so since I'm ridiculous, I am walking home and I just got honked at. Awesome, love this life. It's a great, great earth, happy to be here. Um, I'm walking home from dropping off my car to get an oil change because I'm trying to be productive to try to make myself feel better walking down a busy street, which does not make me feel very good. I feel really, really, really sick. I feel like you can almost like hear it in my voice. It's like strained to like speak, but I just like, I woke up feeling good, which is weird, but it just like over the day, I just felt more and more like yuck and horrible and not that happy. Oh, well though, it happens. I don't have a headache or anything, which is, really nice but uh whatever whatever forever okay so i just got the call that my car is ready so i have to go walk back over there why did i do this i don't even know but i came home and i packed a package which made me feel good accomplishing more things always makes me feel good i feel like there's a lot on me right now like a lot of things to do and so i kind of feel irresponsible going to do this oscars thing whatever i have gum in my mouth also not great, but before I go, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. It's not that exciting. It's more of like, it's what I would call play clothes, <laughs> which may or may not make sense to any of you, but it's more just like, this is a casual outfit. It makes me feel comfortable because I don't feel very good right now. In fact, I feel actually really, really horrible right now. <laughs> 
And something kind of weird that I like to do whenever I don't feel very good is kind of like go all out with my makeup. Not that this is like all out, but I'm like wearing lashes and I have red lips. It just makes me feel a little bit better. I know that's kind of weird, but uh, yeah. So I like took a shower, did my hair, did my whole makeup and everything, and I'm wearing a new dress. I got this from Target. It's like floral print and black background, which is my jam of life. It's super faded, like that's how it came, but I think it's cute. It's just like a cute baby doll dress and um, it's actually long enough for me. Like, look at this. Is this the longest thing that I've ever worn in my life? Maybe, we don't have to talk about it. And on my feet, I'm wearing these little shoes that, um, I can't even remember. I think they're like born. I've had them for ages. They look like garbage, but I thought it was kind of cute with this outfit. And honestly, even though I went like all out with my makeup and everything, I kind of don't care about how I look right now. But I do feel, I don't know, like if I look like garbage and I feel like garbage, it's like kind of just, why would I do that to myself, right? I don't know. All right, time to go be a pedestrian, which is not something people do in Houston. Not gonna lie. Hello. Hey. Wake up. Ah. Okay, so I guess I'll just meet you there. Yep. Okay, so I'm on the road. I have my little car back. But apparently, this car cost twice as much as, like, the typical oil change. I don't even get why. And I just accepted it. I was just like, okay, it is what it is. Let's go with it. So, I don't know, but it sounds a lot better. All of those cautionary lights that were on my dashboard are now out, which makes me feel a lot better. I do feel slightly accomplished, even though I do still feel like I am on death's doorstep. So I'm not sure if I mentioned or not that I am going to Alamo Draft House and I'm going to the one on Mason. Um, I've been to both of them. I don't know why they don't have an Alamo Draft House in town. That would be a lot better for my life because this is officially 30 minutes away from me, which is sad and difficult. Um, but I think it's going to be worth it. They're just having like an Oscar watching party and I just like events at Alamo Draft House. I think it's like such a cool, fun place and I feel like, I don't know, I could work there. Like if somehow something bad happened at my job and I didn't have my job anymore, I would totally want to work at Alamo Draft House. Is that ridiculous? Because I don't even care. I would love to work there. Um, just about to go into a tunnel, so... Had to do it, couldn't help myself. If you didn't see the other vlog where I did that, you probably just think I'm a crazy person. And I am. Anyway, I'm ready to listen to some music, so I have to turn off the camera, and hopefully I'll be able to show you what it's like at Alamo. I think it should be cool. Hopefully, we shall see. It's about 10.15 and I'm riding home. I could not stick it out for the whole long ceremony. Um, so like we got to the theater about like an hour before it actually started. So you're watching like the red carpet stuff and then three hours of the actual ceremony and I was just like, I don't know. It's like I feel like I have the flu so I'm just like, ugh. like I had fun definitely and I, we had like crazy loaded french fries and pizza <coughs> and during the commercial breaks they would either like do like a challenge or I don't know some kind of like trivia or something like that and during one of them they had like these two boxes of Legos in celebration of the Legos movie and they had taken the instructions out and they gave them to volunteers and of course I volunteered because I need activities and it definitely made it go by a lot faster. However, I did give up pretty early and I was like looking at the instructions on my phone. So I totally cheated, but I didn't end up like getting the prize anyway. So, and I, I also like didn't work on it as hard. And um, so, but it was really fun and we made a dump truck. <laughs> I think it was a success. Like I wish I felt more like a human right now, but generally it was a success and I had fun. Um, definitely glad I went because I was seriously considering just like burrowing into my bed and not coming out at all for the rest of the night. But um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go to CVS, get some medicine, 
and go home. I don't want to be sick this week, so I have to try to feel better as soon as I can. I really hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, thumbs up if you like weekend vlogs because I love making them and I love you guys for watching them. I feel like you guys are like getting to know me so much better, um, hopefully. Please subscribe if you want to keep watching my videos. I would love it if you did subscribe. And yeah, that's it. I love you. Bye. Miss Canny Bella said, what is your type? Um, I don't think that I have a type. Um, just in the same way that I don't think I am a type. Um, that could be that could be diluted thinking, but I don't think I am a certain type and I definitely don't like the guys that are a certain type. Like I've dated guys that look 